Alexandra, here we are at UBC Farm on a nice sunny fall day. We have a lovely field of winter wheat behind us, quite uniform, but um, it's a field that the farm manager wants to sample. How he would go about doing that? Well, because this field is pretty uniform, Maya, it's pretty straightforward. Um, mm -hmm. I guess my first question for you is, is, has the management on this field been different or is it quite uniform? Good point. The management on this particular field has been quite uniform. Same fertilization, same type of crop, same topography, same um, slope. So, yeah, it's, it, there are very few variabilities. So that's this. simple, that we mm -hmm. don't need to separate the field for different conditions. We can mm -hmm. treat it all as, a, as one piece. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to get a general idea of what the soil nutrients are throughout the field. That's the idea? That's right. Yes. Yes. Okay. And because this is a grass crop, rooting depth about 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So we'll sample and focus our sampling on the top 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about going too deep. That's great. Mm -hmm. There's sort of two ways we could do it. We could separate it out into grids mm -hmm. and then take random samples within each grid mm -hmm. or for this field I'd suggest maybe we do transects we can do mm -hmm. transects across and we probably mm -hmm. want to do say five transects mm -hmm. five is about the minimum number of samples you want to get mm -hmm. for statistical comparison so we can calculate a mean that's right and would you take just one sample per transect or more than that no I would take at least five samples per transect mm -hmm. we can bulk those together mix them up and take a subsample from those okay great how would you go about collecting soil samples? Would you have some special kind of equipment for that? Sure, there's different cores or we can shovel, we can dig. I like to use this Oakfield core. I particularly like this core for sampling in these kinds of fields where we don't have a lot of stones. We just push the barrel of the core into the soil. There's a tip here that's angled. The soil comes up into the barrel and, it's, and we can just pull this straight out of the soil and it gives us a sample. There's a mark on the side here at 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. That's our rooting depth, so we can quite simply get samples quickly for various sites in the field and composite them together to, to build our soil sample. Mm -hmm. If we've got a site like a forest site where there's more roots or rocks, we may have to go to a shovel. Mm -hmm. This is a nice type of a shovel mm -hmm. because we can, we can dig quite deep with this without digging a big hole. That's right. And it's that's... quite narrow. I presume is desirable for a farm field where they wouldn't want you to de disturb the site. Yeah, so we can dig as, as just as the depth we need, as small a hole as possible. And once we mm -hmm. dig the hole, mm -hmm. then we can use the trowel there mm -hmm. to, to sample down the side of the hole to mm -hmm. get the sample. Mm -hmm. Now in this case, because we're going to do a composite sample, so for each transect we're going to take samples, at least five per transect, mm -hmm. bulk them all together, we can put the soil into the bucket, mm -hmm. mix it up, and then we'll take a subsample and we'll put it into our sampling bags. Mm -hmm. And then we can label each of our bags. Yeah. Now, okay. personally, I like to just use a Sharpie marker. Pretty mm -hmm. simple. I use my initials. Uh -huh. I use some kind of indication for the site, like UBCF for UBC mm -hmm. Farm, and then mm -hmm. a sample number. That's right. But we need to be pretty, pretty careful about making sure we do a design dra drawing. So we brought up a, a field notebook. Mm -hmm. And these are great little waterproof mm -hmm. notebooks we can mm -hmm. write in. Mm -hmm. and we can do a design drawing of our field with the transects and our yeah. numbering and make sure you put direction on so we mm -hmm. know what sample number one corresponds to. And yeah. also in here we'll write down the date, the weather conditions, the depth. any other samples, yeah. the depth, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's, it's fairly straightforward with one sampling like this. You need to be a little bit more careful if you're going to do repeat sampling That's right. different times a year to make sure you get the date marked on them. That's right. We also have a tape measure here, Maya. We can use that for setting up our transects. So we can stretch that out across the field mm -hmm. and then we can mark off regular intervals where we can take our samples with our core. Okay, well let's go and do it then. Okay. Typically we want to get about a half a kilo, half a kilogram mm. of soil. Uh, but mm -hmm. it depends again if you're going to do a lot of analysis you might want to take a bigger sample and you can store that. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. meters here. Excellent. So we can sample every uh, every three meters? Okay, Ma, so the first thing we want to do is get the grass out of the way here mm -hmm. at our first sample point here, 15 meters on our tape. So we'll kick that down so we can see the, the dirt here. Put the core in and we just press this straight down. There, we got a nice deep core. A little twist to break it off mm -hmm. and pull it out. Okay, so there we are at our 50 at our rooting depth. Mm -hmm. We can take the end of the barrel off and we'll put that in the yeah, bucket. bucket. 
Take off the end of the barrel, just slide that into the bucket, and then we go on and take our next sample. Okay. So now what we want to do, Maya, for each of those transects, you know, pick out the grass and things in here. You can see how the, the bits of the mm -hmm. core, you can actually see the pieces of the core. Mm -hmm. We want to mm -hmm. break that up. Just break mm -hmm. that up with your hands. Mm -hmm. Break up any clods. And if there's any rocks or grass, mm -hmm. you can pick those out, big stones or anything like that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. And then we'll, you've got that all well mixed. Mm -hmm. we'll put that into a sample bag. It's a nice composite sample from from each one of those transects. So we'll have five okay. different samples all together. Okay, there you are. Now we're handling this with our hands because we're doing nutrients, That's depending right. on what we're sampling. So for example, if we were gonna do carbon dating, we'd have to be very careful about not touching the soil with our hands. So wear gloves and in that case, you have special That's sampling right. procedures. But for nutrients, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. So we'll wrap so. that up and get our Sharpie and label this. I got it. Oh, you have a Sharpie that you label it. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is SB, UBC Farm, mm -hmm. number one, transect number one. Excellent. Okay.